Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another cargo ship, and this one is called the GC Medium Transport, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a large block transport ship that features deployable cargo containers that you can individually separate or just drop them all off at the same time. We've got some firepower on here so we won't be jumped by any pesky pirates, and we've got enough hydrogen thrusters, amateur thrusters to keep ourselves afloat while on the planet. Pressing F10 and finding the medium transport ship in the spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 706 large blocks using the heavy industry and decorative block number two. We see you've got very little information about this ship other than it's a simple ship for a mod. We'll give this a thumbs up, which I already have. We'll move all the way around to the very front. We'll have a quick look around the outside, then we'll see what it has to offer. So at the very front here, this is what we get. We've got a connector front and center with two merge blocks that's connected onto our cargo container setup. Now this isn't exactly the main ship. This is our deployable section where we can drop off our cargo containers at different areas or perhaps attach some more on via this system. And now we'll come all the way across over here towards the bridge where we've got a mass control to drop this all off at the same time. But as for the ship itself, on the left and right hand side of our cargo containers, we got ourselves some spotlights to light up the diners. We've got some hydrogen thrusters to help this thing stop. If we were to move around the side, we'll see the first of many turrets to make sure we are nice and protected while transporting our goods. And we'll see some amstrick thrusters, some hydrogen thrusters to help us on our left and right. Just below that, we'll see some rounded conveyors that link across onto some auction tanks and some more hydrogen thrusters. Then all the way over here, we'll see even more amstrick thrusters a magnetic plate to land this thing down on, some large atmospheric thrusters to help us out on a planet, and even more thrusters, and some nice use of our armoured plates. Coming all the way around towards the back here, we'll see even more turrets, a couple of interior turrets, and this is what's going to push us along. So we got two hydrogen thrusters and a bunch of atmospheric thrusters, some sticking out the back, some inside some passages, but it'll give us some nice speed while moving forwards. If we were to come all the way up and above to here, we'll see our large amateur thrusters looking down. We'll see a doorway that's very shiny and red that allows us to go inside and drive this ship, and allows us to go further into the ship where we can access some maintenance areas to repair this thing up. Looking all the way down, going towards the front, there's the glass for our bridge. We'll get a quick look over to here. So we've just got a lone flight seat in here with two doorways to go further down into the ship. If we were to look all the way down, there's our large cargo containers, there's the merge blocks and connectors linking them all together. On the side there, we can see our auction tanks and conveyors. I'll just come all the way across towards the front, where we've got some piston heads covering up our conveyor points. Then just dropping all the way down and underneath, there's the bottom of our cargo containers. There's all of our conveyors, our turrets, even more hydrogen thrusters. Now come all the way down over to here to our magnetic plate. And there is once again our larger amateur thrusters at the back. So it's a fantastic looking ship overall and it does have some great functionality if you are looking to transport a lot of goods from one place to another. A nice lot of firepower on this to make sure you are very protected. And I think it's time to grab hold of my character and head on inside. So walking all the way over towards this galling turret at the very back and turning round, we'll now open up the super shiny door and we'll just come inside. Looking down, we have a doorway that will lead to the lower deck, where we can go through the other doors on the front. Yes, this is what we get for our bridge. We've got a fantastic view all the way around, and at our cargo containers at the front. Looking down to my size, we've got a diagonal plate that's going to be used to walk up and down this thing. Coming all the way down like so. It's a bit wonky because the ship is at an angle to catch the sunlight. Yes, we can walk all the way around the front here if we wanted to. Opening up the doorway and walking all the way down these steps, what we're going to see is a bunch of small cargo containers in the floor and some hydrogen tanks in the front. Turning around and looking around to here, all the way up, that is the doorway we saw just a second ago, and along the side, a bunch of gyroscopes. There we are with that. So like I said, this is basically a small maintenance area for you to repair anything up if it took damage, and you didn't want to go on the outside because you could potentially get shot. Turning around and coming back up to the main bridge, which we'll sort of just walk up that, there we go. Now we can get into the flight seat. So we've only got a handful of options for this ship, with number one, number two being for the Gatling turrets and the interior turrets, all the way around the ship. Number six is going to be for our magnetic plate underneath to lock and unlock it. 
and 6 and 7 is for our Hydrogen Thrusters and Atmospherics. Turning off our Hydrogen Thrusters, we are still perfectly fine at flying around the planet. Turning off our Atmospheric Thrusters and turning on the Hydrogen Thrusters, we are still equally as good and can fly around. So there we are with that. If you don't want to waste fuel, or perhaps you're going long distance and want to save fuel, you can always turn off some thrusters if you want to. Number 8 and number 9 is for our cargo containers at the front there. So if we want to bring the camera all the way over to here, and just look like that. Pressing number 8 is going to be to lock and unlock the connector, which is right over here. Number 9 is going to be for the merge blocks, where we can turn it off, and bye bye cargo containers. That's now going to be delivered to the location, and hopefully they can recover something. Yes, that's just going to fall off into the ground, and we can fly off and go pick up some more cargo containers and deliver it, and hopefully it'll be in one piece this time. Yes, what I'll do is very quickly just delete this, because we want all the cargo containers on here to see the actual speed this thing can go. So here it is once again, we're just going to drop that in. Come in through the back door. There we go, we're just going to close this up. We are a bit wonky, I think we are moving a little bit. No, we're not. So what we'll do now is a very quick thruster test, then I'll just slam this into the mountainside, and that'll be that. So moving forward, this is what we get. It takes roughly 8 seconds to reach maximum speed, which is very nice for a cargo ship. Coming to a stop, however, is going to be very, very different. It takes 18 seconds to reach 0 meters per second from maximum speed, or to reach 100 meters per second while reversing. So there we are, it's going to take quite some time compared to going forwards. Moving left and right is going to be the exact same, which is 14 seconds to reach maximum speed, and of course 14 seconds to come to a stop and go in the opposite direction. Moving up, however, is a completely different story. Pressing spacebar, it takes roughly 3 seconds to reach maximum speed, which is fantastic stuff, especially when you're carrying a lot of heavy goods and you don't want to slam into the ground. Coming to a stop or moving down to 100 meters per second is going to take roughly 11 seconds, because we do not have any thrusters facing down, it's simply going to be turning off the thrusters underneath. And then waving my mouse around, this is what we get. We've got a nice lot of weight on here, it's very meaty controls, but we still have plenty of response from this, so we can do some fancy manoeuvring if you want to. So it's got some nice controls over it, it's got a nice lot of functionality, a great lot of defense on here, and to finish this off, we're just going to slam it into the mountainside, and well, I suppose we can just deploy that all the way down. Another successful delivery going to the ground. It does look rather nice without the cargo containers sitting in the middle. Got that very claw-like feature at the front. But anyway, there will be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it is a fantastic transport ship if you are looking for a transport ship to use on a planet. So here we go in 3, 2, 1, and not too much damage. Very disappointing lately with the crashes I've been doing. It looks like we just damaged one of the front floors. But there we go. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video somewhat soon. Bye bye.